Well, I feel like a complete idiot. <laughs> I have a nail appointment today and I thought it was at 12. That's the time that I wrote down in my planner, but apparently it was supposed to be at 11. My nail girl just called me and was like, um, you were supposed to have an appointment? Where are you? Luckily she has time later today, so I'm just gonna go later this afternoon, but I feel so bad, especially like working in the beauty industry. Like I know how annoying that is. I'll just leave a bigger tip than usual to make up for it. But anyway, hi. If you guys saw my last vlog, I had shared that I was kind of like going through a rough time and was in a little bit of a funk and was, you know, like trying to pull myself out of it. And I'm officially back. Sadness is done. We are, we're over it. It's behind us now. And I just wanna say thank you to everyone that was leaving really sweet, supportive comments. It really means a lot to me. I know I was like very vague about like what I was going through. And some people were like, oh, it might be hormonal or oh, it seems like you're always like going through these phases. Like maybe you should get on medication or you should try this or you should do that. I have been going through like a pretty rough time in general. Cause like I said in that video, like I've just gone through a lot of change in my life in general over the last few months and really just like over the last year, honestly. Every time that I get in one of those funks or I'm feeling really sad or really low, it's for a reason. It's not just like, oh, my mood needs to be stabilized. It's not like these feelings come over me out of nowhere. Things happen, pretty like significant, emotional, hard things. I just choose to not get into the nitty gritty and share that online because it's just personal and private. Obviously, like, I choose to share my life on the internet and that has, like, become my job now. But it's tough when you're going through something that you want to keep private. So, I don't know, it's like, do I just disappear from the internet completely and then not even share that I'm going through a rough time and act like everything is all fine and only share, like, the highlights and the good times? Or do I open up a little bit, but then if I don't share everything, then there's going to be like, you know, like speculation or people are going to like offer input and suggestions that aren't like necessarily relevant or accurate, you know? So it's a little bit of like a fine line to walk on. All I'll say is like, it's relationship related things and family related things. But anyway, we're gonna put all of that aside because like I said, I really truly feel like I am coming out the other side of it now and I am feeling a lot better. So yeah, this past weekend, I deep cleaned my apartment. For the last few weeks, I just had a lot of things that I just like kept putting off. I just didn't have the energy or motivation to do what I needed to do and I finally this weekend just felt like I snapped out of it and I just had all this energy and the urge to clean. I am planning on changing my hair. And I've been thinking about this for a couple of months now. I'm definitely at a point where I could use a refresh. So I was like, do I wanna to touch it up to keep it light or do I wanna just go dark? I do like this color a lot, I really do, but I feel like especially because I am so tan all the time now, living at the beach, like, I just feel like it just kind of blends in with my skin tone a little bit. I just think the dark hair would just pop a lot more. It'll also be a lot more low maintenance and easier to deal with. And then I don't have to worry about it, like, getting brassy. I think today is going to be the day. So before I head to my nail appointment, we're going to go out and run errands first. Depending what time I get back, I might color my hair before my nail appointment. And that'll actually be good too, because that way, just in case, I'm going to wear gloves and be careful, but just in case my fingers get stained, I don't want to like ruin my brand new nails, you know? So I'm going to get dressed because I'm still in a bathrobe. Before I put my shirt on, I wanted to give a quick shout out to the sponsor of this video, Native. Obviously it's summertime right now, I live in the South. It's very hot and humid, so deodorant obviously is a must in order to stay fresh. So can't get dressed and leave the house without applying deodorant first. I'm sure most of you guys are already familiar with Native by now, but they make deodorants that are paraben-free, aluminum-free, and also vegan and cruelty-free. And their products are made with familiar and simple ingredients like coconut oil and shea butter, and they come in a bunch of really amazing scents. 
I have the coconut and vanilla one, which is my favorite right now for the summertime. This has been my go-to. And then I also have lavender and rose, which I love. I am such a sucker for rose scented anything. It just is like so feminine and I don't know. I just, I love it. And then I also have the citrus and herbal musk, which is a little bit more of like a masculine scent but it just smells like so clean and fresh. I feel like these are gonna be more my like fall and winter scents, but I'm obsessed with the coconut one. I would say like out of the three, this is my favorite one. And they also have new limited edition scents and sensitive scent options for those who have more sensitive skin that are being released all the time. The texture of the deodorant is really nice. It's not drying, it's not super sticky. As you saw when I was applying it, it goes on really nice and smooth and it gives you 72 hour odor protection. So it's great for all day wear, even after exercising or being out in the southern heat and humidity. And as you can see, their deodorants now come in new and improved 100% plastic-free packaging. They still have the same formula as their regular deodorant, but with much more sustainable packaging. It's made with 90% post-consumer recycled paper, and Native is a proud partner of 1% for the planet, committing 1% of plastic-free deodorant sales to environmental nonprofits. And Native is committed to sourcing paper for their packaging from responsibly managed forests. Three plastic free deodorants would normally be $39, but if you use my code SAMVEY, you can get three of them for $26 instead. That's over 33% off with my code, and you can also save 20% off any body wash or toothpaste, which if you didn't know, Native also has body wash and toothpaste now. This is the one I have in the citrus spritz scent. Highly recommend. So make sure you check out the description for my link. Use that code. Again, it's Sam Vey. And thank you so much, Native, for sponsoring this portion of the video. I just realized I cleaned my entire apartment, dusted the dog hair off this mirror, and then got distracted and forgot to actually spray it and wipe it down. And there's like probably hairspray residue or something on it. So uh, gotta do that when I get back at some point, but just got this t-shirt recently from H&M. Fanny pack, H&M men's section, I'll link it down below. Bike shorts from Aerie, and then Amazon pillow slides. We're just gonna run out, run some errands. First stop is gonna be Cosmoprof, then we're gonna go get groceries. I already have a grocery list on my phone ready to go. So that way I won't be like aimlessly wandering the store and end up buying stuff that I don't need. Let's go. Okay, I'm home. Got the goodies at Cosmoprof. I decided I'm gonna hold off on the grocery shopping till after my nail appointment, so that way I just have more time and I don't have to rush when I'm doing my hair, especially because I do wanna record a tutorial. I already have developer and all that, so I just needed the actual color itself. So I got two colors. One is gonna be my filler, and then the other one is the actual dark color. So it's gonna be a two-step Possibly three-step process. I might end up doing a gloss on top at the end. So I'm just gonna grab everything that I need. Wait a second. No, 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 no. Hold up a minute. All right, well, I definitely should have checked everything before I started. Are you kidding me? I definitely thought I had developer, and I do. I have 20 and 30 volume and tons of it, and I have processing solution for like my gloss and all that, but I don't have any 10 volume developer, which is what I need for this. Oh my God. And I literally checked my stash last night and I was looking at like what color I had. Didn't even like think about the developer because I just, assumed like i always have so much developer i don't know when i ran out of 10 volume but okay well that's a fail i could drive back to the store and try to come back but by the time i get back i don't know it's gonna be kind of pushing it i feel like and i really don't want to be rushing so i guess we're gonna do my hair later tonight after 
my nail appointment. And I'm just going to have to be super, 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 super careful and keep gloves on the entire time so that I don't stain my fresh nails because I was planning on doing a nude color. That was a fail. I'll see you in a few hours. back here's how my nails came out I just wanted to do a nice simple clean nude I've been doing like the bright neon colors for a while now and I just wanted to go back to basics and keep it simple I think this one was called like Havana cream or something it feels so good to be home and knowing that I'm just like done for the day and I do not have to leave my apartment the rest of the day it feels amazing it's so insanely hot out and you guys know i love the heat like heat and humidity do not bother me i thrive but even for me it's brutal out there <laughs> and it's like rush hour right now so like there's traffic and so many people are out and it's just like <sighs> i just couldn't wait to get home so glad to be back but yeah i have pretty much no groceries in my house so i just needed to do like a good restock on some healthy things and in the past I would just kind of like make a list of things that just like sounded good to have on hand and then things would end up going to waste especially like living alone it can be kind of tricky sometimes like things will just be sitting in the fridge and I'm either like not in the mood to eat it or I forget about it and then next thing I know it's gone bad so now what I've been doing is trying to like not fully meal prep but just kind of plan out like what type sorry benny's drinking what kind of meals realistically do i think i'm gonna like eat throughout the week and then just get the ingredients for that rather than just like buying a bunch of like random stuff so i got some bread to have toast in the morning I'm not really like a big bread person anymore these days but i don't know just like some toast with eggs sounded good and then i got a couple of bananas which are not quite ripe yet so i'm gonna leave those out I just got these for my smoothies got some strawberries which i also got plain greek yogurt so i like to chop up the strawberries and have it with the yogurt then i got some kombucha which i'm gonna have some of this soon i used to be obsessed with kombucha and i would drink one of these a day most days but i haven't had it in a while and i saw it and i was like you know this sounds pretty good then i got some frozen mangoes for smoothies i also got coconut milk for my smoothies and spinach for my smoothies i've kind of been feeling doing like an egg scramble kind of thing for breakfast so i got some mushrooms a red pepper onion little potatoes turkey breakfast sausage and eggs and then ground turkey i'm gonna make some ground turkey meatballs for dinner and then i got a couple couscous mixes just to keep it easy and simple i like to keep stuff like this in the cabinet if i want a side dish with dinner and like I don't really know what to make or I don't feel like making anything crazy that's just so fast and easy and then finally I have all the stuff to do my hair with now so I got my 10 volume developer I also picked up um, a Redken Shades EQ gloss in the shade 4N because like I said after I do the dark color I think I might want to throw the gloss on top just to really like seal everything in add shine make sure it's like all nice and even i have my drawer of hair goodies so i'm gonna pull out everything that i need i'm gonna need a cape gloves definitely color bowl bottle processing solution for the gloss 
applicator brush comb to help me blend everything and make sure it's all saturated. I need my whisk to mix everything up. Um, little measuring cup. All right, say goodbye to the light hair. I am so excited to do this. I've been wanting to do this for a few months now, but it's always a little bit sad when I change my hair color, especially when I go darker because I know it's such a commitment and going back light again. When and if I decide to do that at some point is going to be a process. But like I said, I've been thinking about this for a while. I'm ready to commit. I'm excited. So here's the before. Ah! I am obsessed. I have not seen my hair this dark and this length in so long. The last time my hair was dark like this, it was super, super short and damaged and I had like all these like ugly choppy layers in it from breakage and my hair itself just didn't look cute. So I felt like the color was just like blah, but seeing it now like long and healthy, let's go to the bathroom so I can show you a little bit better and at a distance. Ah, uh, I, I'm in love. It's exactly what I wanted. And I was going for like a Kourtney Kardashian dark brown, almost black. Just like a nice neutral. And it is perfect. I just feel like my old self. This is how my hair was like all throughout high school and like my early 20s, like my college days. And like right after college. And with the nude nails, like I just really it's the old me. Old Sam is back. I can't wait to do my makeup tomorrow and get some pictures. I'm gonna get ready to go to bed now. It's already like 10 p.m. so super tired. Tomorrow I actually am going for an interview at a salon so we'll talk more about that tomorrow. Good night. Good morning. I am obsessed with my hair. I love it so much. And now seeing myself with makeup on and it's styled and everything, I am just obsessed. I just did my usual loose curls with my one and a quarter inch curling iron. I have a tutorial on this style. I'll link it down below if you want to check it out. Let me show you in natural lighting. There we go, that's better. If you've been itching to change up your look, this is your sign, you should do it. Think about it, give it a little bit of time, give it maybe a few weeks, and then if you still are thinking about doing it, just go for it. Okay, I am all dressed and ready to go. Let me show you my outfit and uh, yeah this mess I tried on so many different outfits because I was kind of freaking out and didn't know what I wanted to wear But this is what I settled on just a bodysuit with some jean shorts and a blazer and mules wanted to keep it like professional and cute, but like not too dressed up. I really honestly was just like looking at the salon's Instagram page and I was just kind of going based off of like the aesthetic of the salon and how I saw the stylists were dressed in the Instagram pictures. It doesn't seem like they have a specific dress code. Everyone just dresses like nice. Like they all just have really cute style. I feel good. I feel cute and confident and I'm very excited. I took a break from doing hair for the last few months when I moved down to North Carolina and I started kind of like getting the itch to go work in a salon again but I'm like I don't know like so on the fence about whether or not I want to start taking clients because sometimes I do really miss doing hair like I truly love it I really feel like it's my calling in life but 
it's exhausting and sometimes I'm like I don't even know if this is really worth it you know what I mean like when you have good clients and you have good days it's great but when you have those bad days it really is like this shit is not worth it because it just takes a toll on you physically mentally emotionally and I just feel like hairstylists don't get the appreciation that they deserve a lot of the times people think that it's like a much easier job than it really is so yeah i just don't know if i'm ready for that yet and plus like having to start from scratch and rebuild a clientele it's kind of a commitment you know like it takes a lot of effort and work and i don't want to build a clientele and start to really make a name for myself in this town if then in a year I decide that I'm gonna move somewhere else you know so I don't know I'm just still on the fence but the salon that I went to get my hair done at a few months ago posted on Instagram that they were looking to hire a part-time front desk girl and I was like oh my god that is perfect because I was feeling like I just needed a part-time gig something to like get me out of the house and kind of like force me to have a routine again and like give me some kind of purpose um because doing youtube full-time has been really great but honestly like i don't know it's just it's very easy to get stuck in a rut and i'm the kind of person that like i need to be forced to like get out of the house i need to be around people so not only will it get me back in the salon environment so that way i can get a feel for like okay, do I actually miss this? Do I actually want to start taking clients of my own? But then I can see like, what's the clientele at this specific salon like? And what are the stylists like? And what's their relationship? Like, is there drama? Does everybody get along? Is it chill? Like, how's the owner? Is she laid back? Before like, actually getting a stylist position and then being committed to that. So I thought this would be like a really good way to like, kind of dip my toes back in and just feel it out and at the last salon that I worked at we didn't have a receptionist we did a little bit here and there there were a couple people that worked the front desk like part-time for a little while but for the most part we didn't have a receptionist and I just answered the phone myself a lot of the times and booked my own appointments myself so I do have that experience and I'm comfortable like working the front desk so I just feel like it's kind of perfect and the fact that I saw that Instagram post right around this time when I was like kind of thinking about looking for a salon job like it just all really it feels like the universe kind of like landed this in my lap you know we'll see obviously there's no guarantee that I'm a gonna even get the position um, or B, that I am going to want to take it. I have to see, like, how many hours is she looking for me to be there? How many days? What days? Et cetera, et cetera. How much is she paying? I do want to obviously make sure that it's, like, going to be actually worth my while. But I think that it could be really good for me. I will check in with you after the interview to let you know how it went. But, yeah, wish me luck. It's a few hours later, I, oh, my necklaces are all tangled. Should probably take these off actually. The interview went really, really well. I feel like we clicked really well. She really liked me. And I feel like what she was describing that she's looking for is literally me. So um, I think it's gonna be really good and there's gonna be opportunity for me to grow and she said in a few months we can kind of like reevaluate and see where I'm at and what I'm thinking and if I decide that I do want to start taking clients there will be room for me to do that or if I want to stick with like more of the like administrative kind of stuff she would love for me to eventually take over as like the salon manager which is pretty exciting. I can't predict the future, only time will tell how I feel once I'm there, but I really like doing the administrative stuff. Like even the salon that I worked at before, um, we didn't have a manager or a front desk person. It was a really small salon and for most of the time I was there, it was literally just me and my boss. So I really had to just like manage myself and I had a key to the salon a lot of the times I would be there with clients 
by myself. So I really liked doing all of that stuff. And I don't know, like I, I just kind of feel like maybe this is more the route that I want to go. And then if I still want to take clients every so often, like maybe she would let me take a few people like one or two times a month or something like that if I feel like that desire to actually like do hair. But I'm very excited and everyone there just seems like really cool and I'm excited for the opportunity to just make new friends and the other people that I will be able to meet now through this opportunity. And uh, you know, maybe I'll meet my future husband. You never know. Anyway, I'm gonna take my makeup off get ready for bed i never use makeup wipes honestly i just keep them for the nights when i'm feeling super lazy which tonight is that night normally i'll like melt my makeup off with coconut oil i don't have an official start date yet um she's gonna reach out to me later this week and we're gonna figure out some days for me to come in over the next couple of weeks to start like training and shadowing and all that and just getting familiar with the salon and their scheduling system and whatnot. And then I'm probably gonna start by like early September. All right, I'm all ready for bed. I'm gonna wrap up this vlog here. Thank you guys so much for watching and spending the last couple of days with me. Don't forget to check the description for my link and discount code to Native. And I will see you very soon in my next video. Bye. Benny wants to say bye. Bye. Good night. See you next time.